Hey Summers! Hi everyone! Welcome to Make Two. Today we wanted to talk about a new house that we've set up um, after the Magic update that came out recently. Uh, the house is just across the road from the Magic shop, as you can see here. So if we click on it, we can meet the residents who are Harry Potter, Hermione Granger, and Ron Weasley. Um, as you can see, Harry is over here on his broom, his firebolt, if you will, and... That looks like their magical car as well. That is their magical car. That is the flying Ford Anglia, which is blue. Um, so, okay, as we go into the house... Oh, by the way, I built this house on, I think, maybe a Japanese retreat lot. Um, so you can see that in the fencing over here and the, the pond. pond, which does not move. Um, you cannot move that pond. But this duck pond over here on the left, you can move. Um, anyway, as you... That was Hermione walking past just now. As you go in the front runic door here, um, you sort of find this entryway stairwell with a grandfather clock, and then you can come through this hidden doorway, which looks like a bookcase, into this living room, which I tried to model after colors of the Gryffindor com common room. Um, you know, sort of red and gold. Um, there's a fireplace for flu calls and fluing, and there's a chessboard for Ron and Harry to play wizarding chess. And, oh, you can see Crookshanks back here. Yeah, I was going to say, you can see Crookshanks. There's also, I saw a dragon hovering somewhere. Yeah, there's a white dragon whose name, oh, there he is, oh, whose there. name is Draco Malfoy. Very nice. And also, you've got Magical Broom brooming outside. Yeah, they weird. do go outside, and they kind of move around on their own, even if there isn't anything to clean, unlike the pee and vomit cleaners, um, which only come out when there is something to clean. So, um, anyway, this is the first floor. Ron just walked into the big kitchen. I liked having the kitchen be the biggest room in the house. Um, I just thought, you know, it's very homey warm room. Ron probably has a lot of nice associations. It's got a big table. Um, uh, yeah, sorry. Ron has a lot of nice associations with his mom and um, family and all of that. There's an owl by the back door there for sending messages. Um, then you go upstairs and there's a bookcase in the hallway. By the way, there's lots of bookcases throughout the house because, of course, Hermione loves her books. And anyway, you walk through the bathroom into the bedroom here. There's an extra broom closet. There's magical Teddy, living Teddy, sitting on the couch there. Um, and then upstairs, you've got another sort of more informal lounge area um, where on the right, there's a place to listen to records. I went for the 70s record player because I figured that fit the wizarding world that J.K. Rowling created more it's sort of dated, um, so I thought a 1970s record player would fit in more with that. There's another wizarding chessboard, more bookcases, magical fireplace, and then you can walk through um, this other secret door and um, go into this, what I like to call the magical practice area where Hermione is sitting. So you've got the wand practice set up on the right here, and you've got another magical fireplace and another broom closet. And in front of Hermione is the spinning crystal ball, which those familiar with um, the old fan theory that Ron was good at divination because things he said frequently came true. Um, that's just sort of a nod to that. Um, and another cool thing that I liked is um, sometimes when I'm maiming my characters, I like to um, use emoticons um, to get around the fact that you can't have um, people in the same household with different last names. So instead of going for a last name for everyone, I just chose um, the books here because um, for Hermione and for everyone else in the house um, because, you know, they started as students and Hermione loves her books, obviously. Um, so they should all, I think, have the same 
book last name because... Oh, actually, huh. How did I manage that? Oh, no. I think what I did was, in fact, what you can do... Here's a tip. If you're naming characters um, and you want them to all have emoticons that are different, um, then you should do that in the first name blank and leave the last name um, completely empty. So what I did here is um, I gave Hermione the book emoticon and I gave Ron the crown emoticon because of course Weasley is our king. Um, and then where is Harry? Harry's down here. Harry gets a lightning bolt because wow. that is his thing. But using this technique you could also just call them Harry Potter first name. Yeah, but the blank is not long enough. You can't um, uh, put in a particularly long first name, so okay. this won't work for people with, you know, first names like Super Catchafrag, you know, <laughs> Super... Super Catchafragilistic super... Expialidocious. You... Yes, there you go. It won't work for characters like that. Anyway, so then in the back... By the way, this um, this is on a standard lot, and I originally had it as just a kind of extra park for the Sims Landing Town, and I think I've got pictures of that I called it a Zen garden. I got pictures of that on the Tumblr, um, which you can find a link to in the channel description. But um, then I decided to build a magic house on it. So some of the stuff from that Zen garden is still here, like this big pond um, with a green paving to make it you know, seem more natural and this fountain and all of that. Um, but generally, I just wanted it to be kind of, you know, a nice big backyard for um, Ron, Hermione, Harry, and their pets and um, other associated magical items. So yep, yeah, that is the magical house. Um, hope you enjoyed getting a look at it. Um, please remember to like or subscribe um, if you want to see more videos like this. And uh, thanks for watching.